Raw's newest superstar. I was impressed with what you were able to accomplish on SmackDown in such a short amount of time. Kind of reminds me of, well, me. Well, thanks, Kurt. I hope there are no hard feelings that I didn't initially sign with you. None whatsoever. We're just lucky to have you here on Raw now. So what's your plan tonight? Going to sit back and get a feel for things? Uh, I didn't get here by sitting back and waiting for something to happen. No, I guess not. You'll be seeing me out there sooner than you think. And in a very big way. We are gathered here tonight for a very special occasion. To celebrate a milestone that only the most successful television programs reach. That's right. This is the 100th episode of Ms. TV. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. Show some respect for the moment in history you are witnessing. Do you know the kind of blood, sweat, and tears that go into making a production like this week in and week out? No, you don't. Because you've never made one episode of anything, let alone 100. Now, in honor of this achievement, I put together a special documentary recapping the series' greatest moments that I'd like all of you to watch for the next 10 minutes. Please, turn off your cellular devices and enjoy the show. Apparently, this is what Buzz meant when he talked about making a big debut on Raw. This is unbelievably disrespectful to the Intercontinental Champion. But from what we've seen in the past from Buzz, I'm really not surprised. Hey, maybe he wants to congratulate The Miz on making it to 100 episodes. Nah, I doubt it. What the hell do you think you're doing interrupting my 100th episode celebration? Answer me, damn it! There's your answer! And now the Miz quickly join in on the fight. It's three on one! Skull rushing finale. Plus his big debut on Raw certainly didn't go as planned. Welcome to another edition of TV's oh, longest-running yes. weekly episodic television program, Monday Night Raw. Hello, I am Elias. I've got one question for everyone here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, last week we had a newcomer arrive on the scene and challenge The Miz. He quickly learned that in WWE, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. And when I say WWE, I am referring to the WWE that stands for Walk with Elias. We got a new guy here named Buzz, who got beat down by The Miz. If you ask me, it's only a matter of time before he's out of the biz. He drives around in an old crappy van like a homeless man. He reminds Elias a lot of all you dirt poor fans. I never thought I'd be happy to see Buzz, but if it's to interrupt Elias' music, I would welcome an earthquake. Seems like Buzz isn't a fan either. Okay, I think I speak for everyone here when I say we've heard just about enough. atrocity of a song, I don't have a problem with you, yet. But I do have a problem with The Miz after what he and his so-called Miz-tourage 
did to me last week. So Miz, I'm calling you out right now. Buzz must really want to get beat up two weeks in a row. First off, Elias, I want to apologize for your beautiful acoustic set being interrupted by this simpleton who obviously doesn't appreciate art or culture. He did it to me last week, too. Second of all, Buzz, I don't care what you do or say. You're not getting a shot at my Intercontinental title. But since it seems like you're dying for a fight, I have another idea. How about you face the Miz Taraj in a handicap match tonight? You know what? Sounds good. In fact, why not add Elias to their team too? Then I can beat all three of them and show the WWE Universe what a fighting champion is supposed to look like. You are dumber than you look. I second that. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge handicap match. And my math tells me this one's about to get ugly real fast. Throughout his time in WWE, Elias has demonstrated an ability to defeat up and comers and veterans alike. Sometimes with a six string on their back. Look, there's no doubting Elias' ability inside the ring. I just wish he'd take up something like making model airplanes instead of live music performances, if those qualify as such. Brutal knee right to the face. You gotta believe this one's over. And it's Elias floundering some. I don't know about you, but I don't like his chances of survival oh, here in this handicap match. He may very well find himself on the wrong end of this decision if he doesn't come up with something quickly. If things don't change in a hurry, oh. this has all the makings of a short evening for him. Such vicious strikes. Ooh, what impact. Wicked clothesline. Keep your eye on this one. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap matches. Of course, there's Andre the Giant, and more recently, Braun Strowman. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody in more handicap matches than Big Show, guys. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. I could agree with This thing is getting more chaotic by the moment. Uh-oh. The Miz gives Elias his guitar. Buzz gains control of it. And he nails him with the guitar. That'll do it. Here's the cover. Does he have him here? There's one. one. Two. There's two. Three. He got it. What an incredible victory! Buzz somehow overcomes the odds. Somehow, he cheated. Buzz is here on Raw to continue his quest for the Miz's Intercontinental Championship. The superstar known as Buzz is here! Making his way to the ring from Virginia, weighing in at 250 pounds, Brandon, the prototype. 
I caught up with Buzz earlier today, and he told me about the time he skipped school to attend a WWE event. That's how passionate he was, and still is, about sports entertainment. When he said he skipped school, did he mean all of it? I mean, that's the vibe I got. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. Here, if Buzz can defeat Bo Dallas, he'll earn a shot at Miz's Intercontinental Championship. And keep in mind, per Kurt Angle's decision, if the Miz interferes on Bo's behalf, Buzz will still get his title shot. Why doesn't Angle just hand Buzz the Intercontinental title? I mean, he's giving him every possible advantage. I believe the goal is to make sure it's a fair match without involvement from the Miz. Well, after this match, you and Buzz might be Bo leaving otherwise. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! Both Dallas starting to falter now. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. This wow. thing appears to be slipping away from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into this match. Oh, what a combo! Oh, a knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. The lined up and the pitch. Uppercut. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Beautiful technique. What is it that Bo Dallas is looking to do to change his look at this point? It appears his opponent has his number right now. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away by now. Well, he's certainly won what impact. Oh, it's over. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Somebody's got hops. Bringing it back into the ring. He's playing with him now. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Bo Dallas in some big trouble. This might be it. Cover. One. Hooks two. the leg. Kicked out at oh, two and man. a half. I thought he had him. Wait, what's Miz doing? What the heck? Why would Miz punch Bo Dallas? Wait a minute. The Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get an Intercontinental title shot. The Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset about how all this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Again, The Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you going to do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, 
You don't get to face the Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. Hey, Cole. I need a favor. It's short notice, but you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need something. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in Thanks, man. You're the best. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. I am the Miz! And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. That was wonderful, honey! You truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, ironing my weird matrix cloak dress that I wear. When my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz and I'm awful. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas. I was forced to make a title of my own. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? This is real life. It's not pretend time. You don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about pathetic? I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. All right, champ. I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. Like I said, anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? 
Or there can't be more than 200 people in attendance. <laughs> Not exactly. My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias! Introducing the champion from Virginia, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the non-stop pro wrestling champion, Brandon the Prototype. Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. I can't believe Buzz just sprung this title match stipulation on Elias. It's completely unfair. I actually think oh. it's kind of nice to see Buzz pull one over on his opponents for a change. I agree. We're so accustomed to seeing Buzz at a disadvantage. Finally tonight, he gets a match on his turn. Oh, I thought broadcast journalists weren't supposed to be biased, but I guess I was wrong. Jarring impact. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time, and so far, I think it's safe to say... What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's gonna do it! You gotta believe this one's over! Nobody does it quite like him. Uh-oh, this might be the end of Elias tonight. And maybe not. Flipping pile driver spiked. Can he finish the job? One of the most impressive flips you will ever see. Uh-oh. Didn't have to dig very deep to kick out of that one. Not yet. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. This might be it. Oh, my. No. DDT! Spike them. Oh boy, he is jumping knee strike on point. This one's over, guys. He's calling for it. Oh my god! Oh. The driver spiked him. The champ needs to hurry here. Things are starting to heat up out here. What could they possibly be arguing over? He 
he goes for the cover. The champion retains. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Oh, I can't believe this. Man, oh man, look at that. Check this out. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here is your winner, and still non-stop pro wrestling champion, Brandon the Prototype. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over, and here's your winner. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Boy, I don't think we're going to have too many disappointed viewers at home. Not with action like we just saw. You showed up a few weeks ago on my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm gonna show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz has his match with The Miz, so what's Kurt Angle doing out here? I'm glad you two are finally going to face off, one-on-one. -on -one. That's right, Maurice, Elias, and The Miz Taraj will be banned for Brigside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held under his title stipulations, which means it will be a no DQ match. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! The crowd is buzzing with excitement. Buzz is here. Introducing the champion from Virginia, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the nonstop pro wrestling champion, Brandon. Earlier today, the I noticed prototype. Buzz backstage checking out some vintage Bret Hart matches on the WWE Network. He's apparently a big admirer of the Hitman. Oh, Buzz has good taste because when it comes to in-ring ability, there weren't too many better than the excellence of execution. And introducing the champion, residing in Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz! Go ahead, Corey, tell us all! about The Miz. The Miz is the man who single-handedly turned SmackDown from the B show to the show. A star of stage, screen, reality television. Is there anything The Miz hasn't done? Did The Miz pay you to say all that, Corey? Absolutely not, Byron Saxton. I happen to be a hopeful for consideration for a Mizzy this year. Really? That's a right. Mizzy? Oh, come on. That would be awesome, Corey. That would be ridiculous. Where would you put it? On my mantle with my most prized possessions. Why are you encouraging him, Michael? I would love to have him here.
Here we go. Buzz's title and the Intercontinental title are on the line tonight in a no DQ match at WWE Hell in a Cell. Buzz has everything to gain, nothing to lose. His made up title is absolutely meaningless. If that's true, then why did Miz issue the challenge? Because, like most of us, he was tired of Buzz's antics and thought this would shut him up for once and for all. Little did he know that thanks to our wonderful GM, he'd have to compete under Buzz's ridiculous rules. Well, none of this would have happened if Miz hadn't weaseled his way out of an intercontinental title defense. Nonetheless, that's all history, and certainly more history will be made tonight. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Working on the leg. Whack! Michael, that gives you meaning to have a seat. To Byron's point, there are several competitors on the roster who can make a case for being the next in line for a title opportunity. However, a lot of that, of course, depends on the outcome of this match here tonight. And with that in mind, regardless of their personal feelings, you'd have to think the locker room is rooting for the champion here tonight. The last thing they want to do is to have to wait even longer while the champ's rematch clause kicks in. Buzz just barely got out of the way. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told has been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Go oh. And the odds just swung in Buzz's favor. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. I don't know who your sources are. Beautiful technique. No doubt about that one. The mid, the champion into the cover. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. Irish whip. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. The wind up. And the pitch. Uppercut. Call me crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here. Harsh impact. Nailed it. Suplex. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here, and while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as a heavy favorite. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Boom. <laughs> the Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. The Miz got the worst end of that stick. Oh, my God. Wild driver. The Miz getting outclassed here tonight, guys. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. He ain't playing here. Look at him go. 
and this is how he ended it. You're looking at the first ever superstar to simultaneously hold the Intercontinental title and for lack of a better term, the Buzz title. Yeah, his carry-on bag just got a little bit heavier. Yeah, if I were the Miz, I, this match would be under protest. It should have never taken place under these rules. Well, it did, and now we have a new champion. You can protest all you want, but it's not going to change what happened. You did it. You finally shut up the Miz. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... I did beat him and take his Intercontinental title. That's good enough. <laughs> Thanks for helping me along the way. We make a pretty good team out there. We did. <laughs> if you ever need someone to dress up in a ridiculous costume to send a message to one of your opponents, I'm your guy. I'll remember that. <laughs> hey, Sasha, you mind if I have a moment to talk business with the champ? Yeah, no problem. I was thinking about calling myself Champ Squared, actually. <laughs> yeah, about that. Not to put a damper on your big victory, but according to WWE regulations, you're only allowed to hold one singles title at a time. I could try to circumvent the rules and let you hold both, but Triple H would just force you to vacate one anyway. You really know how to ruin a party. I'm sorry. So which title would you like to keep? That had to be a tough decision. If it's any consolation, I'll give you the rest of the night to celebrate with both championships. Thanks.